Previously on part one, in the first video, we're gonna solve the crossword answers. This one based on the sh and now the conclusion. For the second part of this puzzle, I decided to start with the frame, which had three very distinct sides to it, being the bottom, the one that had the most space to it. And with that said, solving the three parts or the three sides of this second part of the puzzle was actually really straightforward. As just a quick note before we continue, I just want you to know that yes, the pieces, they look like they are kind of molded or dirty. This is a secondhand puzzle and I can guarantee you I did not do this. In this next process, I found four very distinct types of pieces. The first ones being numbered, the second ones having visible letters. The third one having really unclear bits and pieces of what it was. And finally, the grid, which had only the geometrical shapes. Yep, I think this is gonna be the hardest. Okay guys, but let's get the answers that I didn't know out of the way first. The first comment I got on this video was from Catherine Brider. And the suggestions were that number 19 across would be Nutcracker Suit, which seems to be correct. And also Duke Ellington, also by Catherine Brider. Thank you very much. Number three down was suggested by Marlene Motola. Thank you, Marlene, very much. And the word suggested was Whisperer. Let's put it to the test. Now this next one is a little bit controversial. Number 25 was suggested by Pomperum to try powder. And I tried powder, but it didn't seem to work. But let me show you what we actually got from it. And thank you very much Pomperum for the suggestion. And in case you don't remember the question, it was something like a fruit juice that's watered down for drinking. And it seems like all of us agreed it was orange something, but none, none of us actually could find out what it was. And Pomperum suggested powder, but it's not, I'm sorry. This next one guys, I have no idea how I missed it. And the suggestion came from um, another viewer, Praise Puzzle. Thank you very much, Praise Puzzle. And the answer was pretty obvious. It is resort, a holiday destination. The next suggestion came from Jeffrey Jacobs. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. And the answer was actually Stuttgart, not Frankfurt. That's why, that's why there was a controversy on the UNA on Frankfurt. So I do apologize for that. Which would then, according to Jeffrey as well, turn 42 down groups of three performers, obviously, as trios. And as suggested by Jeffrey as well, 35 down instrument for cutting clothing, hair and all the blah, blah, blah. It would be scissors. So let's see if this is going to work with his other suggestions. Perfect. Thank you. And Jeffrey also pointed it out that I misspelled hitchhiker with a C before K. That's why I was having trouble in the, the grid. So let's just remove that C and add an extra H. Jeffrey also suggested 43 across would be hound, a hunting dog. Another suggestion also by Jeffrey is number 20 down, filmmaker, which would be cinematographer. Which, by the way, will fit perfectly with everything else in this part of the puzzle. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Number 15 across Louis something was suggested by Mark B in Australia. Thank you so much, Mark. And he suggested Blariot, who we will talk about later in the video. This next one was also suggested by Mark B in Australia. Thank you very much. And he suggested Gloucestershire. And yes, I had to Google the pronunciation. And you see, now that I have an S and I have an U as well, I still don't know what 
orange what is. So I, I am still trying to find out what the answer is. And I guess you'll have to stay with me to the very end to find out what that is. Now, number one across was suggested by Puzzle Peace. Thank you very much, Puzzle. And the suggestion was Josiah Wedgwood, a famous 18th century potter and industrialist. And we will talk about him later in the video. And also suggested by Puzzle Piece, number 19 down would be Naseby. Bingo! Now number 21 down, Maeve Pinchy was suggested by Puzzle Piece as well. And we will briefly talk about Maeve later in the video as well. This number 30, um, birth of a child, for example, I came to the conclusion that it was gonna be happy event. No kidding, right? Okay, so it seems like everything worked perfectly and my next step is I will try to memorize everything that I can see in front of me now because I'm not gonna be referring back to the answers. I will use just my memory to try to remember where everything is going to go. And after some considerations, I thought that putting the numbered pieces on the board first and then building around them would make everything a lot easier. And that is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to use number 20, for example, which is Filmmaker. I know for sure it's going to be around this area here. So I'm going to place the number 20 right there. And I'm going to do exactly the same to all of the other numbers um, just by memory without referring back to all the answers and the um, the crossword answers we've just seen before so all of this that i'm doing right now it's all by memory sort of guessing where they would go roughly and then the next step is to try to build the words around them here's another example number 51 across i remember vividly that resort was right there however not all of it was straightforward sometimes i would come across a number that's been cut in half like this one here, it's got a number eight. So I had to go back to all the numbers that had the number eight in the question and also had the letter B in the beginning of the word. Same thing with this piece here. I can see parts of the zero and I can see that it's got an IR. So all I need to do is to go back to the questions in the puzzle, see which one ended with zero and see which one had I followed by R. And this sort of information is actually going to come really handy if you um, also try to solve a jigsaw puzzle with crossword in the future. Remember, all of these tips that I'm giving you now are going to be super helpful for you as well in the future. And here we are. It turned out to be number 40. And this is when I took the last minute decision to separate the letters into different trays. For example, I have a bunch of A's here. I have a bunch of uh, everything that looks like an I or a P or a T that has that pole in the center, then the E's, the A's, the S's, the O's and U's, X's and Y's. I think the trickiest ones were actually the P's and R's because there were so many of them, but they were sort of cut in half, so I had to keep them grouped together. Okie dokie, now that we have an idea of where the numbers and where the answers will be, I can simply go back to the trays with the right letters and start completing all of the questions, all of the answers actually, uh, based on what I remember. And I, I clearly remember all the, uh, the answers by now. And of course, there are times when you don't really have the full letter, so you have to sort of um, find other sorts of information in each of the pieces. Like, um, you know, the, the position of the lines or where that, it, um, that box with the color is or even the position of each letter could help to decipher what the letter actually is and where they should end up. And by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, Trembling with Fear, number nine across is actually Quake. 
I thought it was gonna be shake. So that was one of my mistakes. But because the number nine down is gonna be queen. So it's gotta be Q in the beginning. So number nine is quake, trembling with fear. Okay, so let's do a small time lapse. Let's accelerate things a little bit because I know you guys are on a limited time. So we will we'll, we will have a chat in just a minute when this is almost complete. So keep an eye on all the answers and see if you recognize anything that you did not recognize um, in part one, in video one, and also the things you suggested as well and where they're going to go in the grid here. I came here to party. And here we are, orange something, and it turns out to be orange squash, something I had never heard of before. So far so good, it looks like all the answers that we got so far are working perfectly. But now, my friends, we have the biggest challenge yet. Now I'm left with pieces that have little to no information. It only has got like bits and pieces, like corners of a leather, or, you know, like, like here, you see the, the U, I had just that very small edge of a U. So I would have to, in this case, what I will do is one, I'm gonna be looking for shapes so remember the angel wings that we talked about, the alien heads that we talked about, and also I will be paying a lot of attention of where the lines are and the division between whites and that purple color. And here is our final piece. No pieces were missing in this puzzle. And um, and even though most of the pieces was were kind of dirty, and I do apologize for that. I have no idea what it was, but it wasn't me. There you go. Ta-da! But there you go. That's our puzzle completed. 550 pieces. Crossword jigsaw puzzle. Would you hold well, guys, so just before we conclude this video, let's just have a look at the people that were mentioned in this video. And the first one we're going to talk about very briefly is going to be Wedgwood. Uh, Josiah Wedgwood, a potter and industrialist from the 18th century. And it turns out he was revolutionary. But just to make the story short, he is pretty much the father of uh, European whiteware and pottery. So much so that he's... Um, you know, his items go for huge amounts of money throughout Europe and all over the world. Next on this list is number 15 across Louis Blériot. And it turns out that he was a French aviator and there are even Blériot um, airplanes uh, that were made in France. So um, yeah, by the looks of it, he was a really, really important person in the aviation world. Now this next one is actually kind of really special to me because I'm a huge fan of Ella Fitzgerald and it's Duke Ellington. He actually appeared dozens of times in the background playing the piano with her performances. So there you go, that's, that's him there playing the piano and that's Ella Fitzgerald. And if you are interested in jazz and you want to know a little bit more, make sure you check out the Avant-Garde All The Time podcast by Ubu Webb. This next one is Inspector Morse and the whole series is actually available on YouTube and you should check it out. It's late 70s, early 80s and it is actually really good. The acting is spot on for the time. 
This next one is Andrew Sachs, who played uh, Manuel, Manuel, a character with a very strong um, Spanish accent, and he was treated like as if he was really dumb. Something I'm quite familiar with. Now this one is very interesting because there is actually a movie about the Horse Whisperer with uh, Scarlett Johansson. And the last one is in our list is Maeve Binchy, who was a really important a novelist who actually wrote the script for The Circle of Friends in which Minnie Driver was part of and she ended up becoming good friends with uh, the author. Something that um, I would have never known if I had not completed this puzzle. Alright guys, so just some final thoughts on this puzzle. And um, here is the printout that I used for this video. And um, there are some of the answers are from uh, some of you uh, who helped me find the answers. So thank you so much. Now guys, let's talk a little bit about this puzzle. Do I recommend it? What are the pros and, and cons of this video? Do I recommend it? Oh, absolutely yes. Honestly, guys, I can say with all certainty. I even have another one, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But I absolutely recommend it. The only con, the only thing that I hate or hated about this particular puzzle, like this particular one, not all you know, crossword puzzles, is the fact that most pieces in this puzzle were dirty. And it's so embarrassing for me, because I've already mentioned a few times that I love my snacks, and I've been telling you the things that I like eating when I'm uh, having a break from puzzles. But honestly, I would never touch a puzzle with dirty hands. Like, never. Not in a million years. And unfortunately, this particular puzzle came, um, I mean, secondhand, and came, most pieces were dirty, like filthy, like, ugh, I didn't like it at all. So, again, I do apologize for that. And that's the only downside to this crossword puzzle, is the fact that it was dirty. So, there you go. Now, again, if I recommend this puzzle, absolutely yes. There are parts, and as you can see here, the, the most the trickiest part of it was when you had parts of letters and parts of numbers, but you did not have the whole leather. So that part, honestly, it took me about, well, I don't know, half an hour to an hour to complete just those gaps in the final part of the puzzle, trying to figure out what that corner, that round corner, which is like this one here, you see, what is it? Is it a yo, an o? Is it a u? Is it a q? So I spent quite some time trying to figure out. But again, the end result was that I really, really enjoyed it. So much so that I may solve yet another puzzle. Not, not shortly after this one, but in a couple of months' time, this um, crossword idea. It's such, such a great, wonderful idea. And let me show you the other puzzle that I have in my collection that may be the next crossword jigsaw. Again, in a couple of months time. I don't worry, I'm not gonna rush in and solve another crossword jigsaw puzzle so soon. But I just wanted to show you this one is twice as big. This one has 207 words or clues for the crossword. And imagine how long this would take me <laughs> to solve. So uh, we may see this one, I don't know, in a couple of months uh, here on the channel. So um, I'm just going to see how this one goes for now. But yeah, I highly recommend if in a scale of like 1 to 10, I would absolutely give it a 9 in terms of fun. I would give it a 7 in terms of difficulty because it was not difficult at all. But if you really enjoy this video, make sure you check part one right here. And if you really enjoy my videos, make sure you check the other videos right here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye for now.